scored at an alarming rate. This guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. And it's fouled away. Hit down the line at first. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0-2. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. That accepted. The second baseman, Gene Segura. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He's just one for six. First pitch of the at bat. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. Here's the 0 1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's at a banner month as far as home run production is concerned. If he's able to keep up this pace, earning the league's home run title should be almost a foregone conclusion. I would agree with that assumption. It's going to be a foregone conclusion. The way this guy looks at the box, he looks so hitterish, looking to do damage. I don't see how anyone catches him in the home run race. Weekly hit towards first. Reined in. On with it the first is Hosmer and that ends the inning. Three up three down for Philadelphia and now the Friars will get their first chance no score. Aaron Nola gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. Dan Plezak what do you got. This guy here is one of the top strikeout pitchers in all of baseball. Over 200 strikeouts on the season. And this day and age where we don't see pitchers go that deep into games and pitch well over 200 innings, that's saying something. This guy is on. It could be lights out and lots of Ks. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, d right. this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop. And he fans on the barehanded attempt, so that ought to be scored as a bunt single. That is third. The third baseman. Matty. And in steps Manny Machado. He's a long ball threat, of course. Currently number four in the National League home run race. One and oh, the count. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to three and oh. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Going, Runners off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down he is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Well, he's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into. Now Manny turns on one and sends it to deep left. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Paisley is there now, and he has it, two gone. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. One ball, no strikes the count. Allen at second with two down. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. 
no reason to give in to him here with the base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. The 2-1 pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One left for San Diego. We are still scoreless. JT Real Muto. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Out in front of it, strike one. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Fouled away. Fouled off. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working, timely hitting, great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. You know, D, we're worried that the summer right now, this guy's power's been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. The 0-2 home. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. Two out, nobody on. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He's two for seven in the series so far. Now the pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Mitch Moreland is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. The right fielder. 
So here's Will Myers. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Bottom of the second here with no score. A one and two count to Will Myers. Fouls this one off. Ready on one and two. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll move to the third with no score. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The pitch. McCutcheon, or just Kutch as he's frequently referred to. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Stepping in now, Adam Hazley. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Wind up and the 0 1. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Standing in now, Aaron Nola. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up. No score. We're back now as the Padres prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. They enter the day among the league leaders in both home runs and runs scored. So it's no secret what a threat they present to opposing pitching staffs. As one player told me earlier, we've got a stacked lineup. So as long as we all show up to swing it every day, we're going to cause a lot of problems for the other guys. It's a fun group of guys to hit with. Matt, back to you. 
All right, thanks, Heidi. Standing in, Austin Nola. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Hey, right here, any time the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing, trying to get that out at second base. But if not, make sure of one. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So striding forward now, Jake Cronenworth hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Hazley is there, two gone. Coming to the plate now, Greg Allen. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Allen is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. It's, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. On to second, but he's in safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That will drive a pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count. And instead of making him chase at something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Manny Machado will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike now to Machado. One and one. Here it is. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Now at the plate, Alec Bohm back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. One ball, two strikes. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup. They don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Gene Segura standing in. A swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. And if he continues to hit him over the fence down the stretch at this current pace, he could see himself with over 60 home runs by the end of the year. And he's probably going to be the home run champ if he does that. Anything north of 60, you're getting into rarefied air. This guy has been a beast all season long. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. 
can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Padres lead it one to nothing. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Fernando Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Gregorius is there. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. At the plate, Eric Hosmer looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now batting. No left fielder. Mitch. Now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder. And, and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Padres down in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Okay, thank you, Heidi. JT Real Muto stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now a changeup is bounced to second, right to him. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that so the bases are empty with one man gone. And here's the left handed hitting shortstop Didi Gregorius now. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. There's a high pop up. Tatis is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They're down. Here's Will Myers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. The right Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Stepping into the box, Austin Nola. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. The pitcher, Here's the first the pitch to him. That. Zach Davies is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Liner towards second. 
And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Hey, you talk about having a game right here. This guy's working uh -huh. on a no-no. Uh -huh. And he mixed That's in a knock. Great, How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. Jake Cronenworth stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Rip down the line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Davies rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Greg Allen stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Padres pick up. Striding in, Andrew McCutcheon. He'll lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. And another foul ball. The next 0-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. At the plate now, Adam Hazley. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. This is flared out towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. When a guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Aaron Nola. First pitch on its way. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. And he popped him up. Tatis is under it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. Manny. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And it's gone. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. 34 home runs now on the year. And the Friars have moved out in front three to nothing. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. And 
that'll bring up Don't Fernando Tatis Jr. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in a strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right the there, keeping base. the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw to front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Eric Hosmer to the plate now as he lifts it in the air to right field. Harper has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Now back. Ready now, Mitch Moreland, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Chopped to the right side, should get the runner to third. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now Digging back. in now for San Diego. Will Myers. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 0 advantage now. Outside of taking a ball now in the back. seats, Dan, these were my favorite oh, yeah. knocks to get. Two outs, oh, wow. man on third, and you're able to upset that entire team, including that pitcher with a late two out ribby knock. It's so frustrating from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You kind of, you're in trouble. You're one pitch away from getting out of And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. The Padres lead it four to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Owen won the count. The pitch. Down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So next to the plate for the Phils, Gene Segura. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate, that's why he's having so much success. Popped up. Catch made there by Hosmer, and there are two gone now. now so two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And that's a base hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. Ah, so he was able to take it into the seventh. But the no-hit bid is going to end here with two out in inning number seven. Boy, and Matty, this is when you start really thinking about a no-hitter once you get into the seventh. And it's hard not to look past getting through that last out. But Dero, it just wasn't meant to be here with two outs in the seventh. No, he's pitched a heck of a game, without question. You can't deny that. But this offense is going to stay on the attack. We'll see if this manager turns it over to the bullpen or allows this guy to finish it on his own. The 0-1 delivery. And he fouls this one off. Two out with the man at first. Fouled away. Bye. 
The next 0-2. He's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Davies. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can no keep that no pitch in your back pocket and pull That's it out when you need play. it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. In now, Jake Cronenworth. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The throw into second, and he's safe. At the plate, Greg Allen swings and sends it in the air out to left center. McCutcheon will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Manny Machado will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Padres leave one, but they're in front four to nothing. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one good swing there but this is foul off to the right side ready with the nothing in one pitch and he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. That's not an at bat. He or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A wind up and the 0 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Now the pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Hoskins is retired. Two down now. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Two away here in the eighth. And time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with. So it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First pitch on its way. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail here four to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Here comes the first pitch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate.
Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. The ball and two strikes. Hit hard to short. And there's one down now. Digging in, Eric Hosmer. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here it comes. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. To the plate now, Mitch Moreland. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this ball hits the first base bag. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5 nothing game. The right fielder. He got four. the pitch he wanted and he didn't yeah. miss it right there. Hammer job. Fire. Into the box now, Will Myers. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that misses downstairs for a ball, 1-1. One and one. one and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his now second that knock Jeffrey. of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking, we really avoided a worse fate. No balls in one strike. Runners are at first and second with one away. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Friars forced to settle for just the one. Ninth inning coming up. Padres lead it five to nothing. So digging in now, Adam Hazley. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? that this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a swing and a miss at the curveball. A great pitch call there, and that's the first out here in the ninth. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Scott Kingery will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. The numbers for him certainly look good. He's at 327, four home runs, and 11 RBIs. Fouled off. Kingery 
a native of Arizona. He's in his third season as a major league player. Got him as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. The great equalizer, the changeup. Now that was a really good job of getting him to offer at that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Throw to first here will be in time to record the final out. And the Padres have made it a memorable weekend. They take three out of four as this ball game is over. 5-0 the final score today.